Hello, hello everyone, and welcome again to another LEGO Barnacle video. For today, guys, we're going to be doing a review on Agori Metis. And he's set number 8976, was released in 2009, containing 14 pieces. So as we all know with Metis, he was the first one to meet Toa Mata Nui since being overthrown by the Teradex. Now he lands on Baramagna and meets, uh, as we all know, Metis on the Thornatus. And... When he first meets him, he's like, oh, wow, you know, like, who's this person practically saying? And then he also meets Click, the Scarabax Beetle, also known as Matanui's friend, which he meets on the beach as well. Now, what's interesting is Metis wants to kill him because he's just a typical Scarabax Beetle. You know, what's the point of him being on your shoulder? It's disgusting. While Matanui befriending the awesome little insect who can obviously turn into a Scarabax shield, was like, no, he's my friend, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's kind of when the Scarabax Beetle retaliated and, you know, made his ticking noises towards Metis. So as we all know, Metis brings in Toa Matanui with his Thornatus. Now, unfortunately, they get stopped by some sand bats, which Matanui defeats. He observes, or I should say, uh, uh, Metis observes, thinks he's a great fighter, takes him into the battle arena. He then meets all the other Galatorians. Matanui intervenes. The fight between Akar and Strak because Akar is almost going to get killed. So Matanui stops Strak and practically defeats him as well. And then from there, moving on forward, we know that Metis captures Kina, the secondary Galatorian legend from the Water Tribe, and Beryx, the Agori from the Water Tribe as well. He gives them to Roxas and tells the Galatorians that, oh guys, look, Kina and Beryx have been captured. Later on, obviously, we know that he's the one who created the plan and he admits that he was the one uh, that kind of uh, started the plan. Because at the end of the day, his main goal was to take control of the Rock Tribe and uh, the Bone Hunters. But then again, that would never work because they're too big. And uh, I don't know how he could have done that anyway. He's, like, he's in the gory, to be honest. But anyway, aside from that, as we all know, because Matanui knew what he did was wrong, he transformed him into a serpent or a snake by touching his mask. Uh, of course, we all know that Matanui used the great Ignika, the Mask of Life, in order to transform him into that thing. Same principle applies with uh, Click, the Scarabax Beetle, how he transforms into a Scarabax Shield. But anyway, I think that is pretty much it. We all know that Metis has a, a very evil personality. Uh, he just wanted power, practically, wanted to take control, and um, yeah, just a betrayer, I guess. Um, that's all I can think about the Galatorians, to be honest. Just one betraying the other. It wasn't really a, a united um, group, if you kind of get what I mean. Not like the uh, the G2 Matoran, how everyone tried to unite and fight against um, Makuta. But uh, yeah, anyway. Aside from that, that is pretty much it. Let's get uh, into the set now. So I just wanted to quickly touch on the weapons, because I know, you know, standard articulation. I'm sure you guys know standard articulation in the feet, in the legs, in the arms, the hands, and of course in the head. But I just wanted to quickly talk about the weapon. So here is his first weapon, as you can see there. And I think it's a great weapon, to be honest. Um, so here we are looking at the ice shield. Now I really like the touch of gray there, how it kind of blends in with the trans light blue kind of look there of the ice. Now, not only that, the ice shards kind of looks, you know, it looks pretty cool there. Imagine being stabbed by that, that would be crazy. Now, I really like that weapon. I have to be honest with you all. Um, at the end of the day, maybe a bit of added features maybe would have been great on him, but then again, he is an Agori. It makes you honestly question how he could have even taken control of the Rock Tribe or even the Bone Hunters. That's just crazy. As you can see, guys, is now what we're looking at is the Ice Axe. A great weapon at the end of the day, of course. I really, really like it. And um, what's interesting about it is the fact that it kind of rose it's practically the exact same weapon as the Barnacle Star's Takanuva, um, as we all know. But still a great weapon. Uh, doesn't really look like an ice uh, axe, to be honest. Maybe adding a bit of trans light blue, kind of like with the shield here, would have made it look nicer. Uh, just to kind of give it that ice kind of theme look. But uh, overall, not too bad. I love the color scheme, though. The light blue there and the white going on. Of course, you can see the barnacle headpiece is in uh, blue, trans light blue there. Very nice, or medium blue, I think. 
so that looks pretty cool as well. And there you have it guys, that is my review done on the Agori from the Ice Tribe Metis. Now at the end of the day, these sets are quite small, they don't really offer much other than their storylines to be honest, but if you have really enjoyed it guys, please smash that thumbs up button as well as that, please subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos to come. Anyway guys, thank you again so much for watching. I will be talking to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.